Hey YouTube, we're gonna do some uh, water chemistry here. We got a Sally Furt alkalinity test. We also got a calcium test we're gonna be running. We will start with the alkalinity. I've done this a few times. It gives you some nice instructions on actually how to do it right here. We'll walk you through those. It tells you to first start off with four milliliters of water. So we got here. Dump that in. Solution number one. It tells you to put in four drops. And it tells you to shake it for about five seconds. Let's give it a nice spin. Then we got this solution number two we're going to take. We're going to fill up the pipette with one milliliter of solution. It has to be one milliliter on the dot. Because how you're going to figure out what kh you're at is by what's left in the pipette for both these tests you're gonna see a little bit of a bubble because it's not gonna fill up completely um, it talks about that <clears throat> in the instructions but you're gonna make sure the black end is all the way up to one milliliter and then you're gonna see a little bit left and you're just gonna slowly drop add drop by drop and then Swirl, you're gonna go from this blue to a pink. Now, I know about right about where I should be at because I've been testing pretty regularly, so I'm gonna add in quite a bit and then give it a nice shake. I stopped right before. So your nice blue color, add in a drop, shake, drop, shake, drop, drop. Oh, it's close. Drop. One more drop. There we go. Oh, we're almost there. One more drop. Oh, there. One more for good measure. Just to really show you the color change. That's what we got left. So it went from blue to that pinkish color. And what's left in the solution is point zero point four six. So as you can tell, that's what's left. So I can dump, put this back in the solution. I always save it. There's no point in pitching that. And then I can go to this chart over here that they give you. They give you this chart you can look at. <coughs> Let's see what your DKH is at. So is that 0.46? So 0.46 puts me in a DKH of, or a KH of 8.3. I would really like to be up in the nines, right in the middle of the range. Um, low end is about seven, high end is about 11. Um, I'd really like to get up in the nine, but we're in line. So let's move on to the next one. Here the calcium kit next. <coughs> this one has a couple more steps to it. It's got three. Um, first, start out with two milliliters of water. And again, this has all your nice instructions laid out. Let me give you nice pictures too. Two milliliters of water, one scoop of solution A, 10 drops of solution B. You mix it for 10 seconds. Again, one milliliter of the solution three. You know, it's gonna go from pink to blue. And then, like I told you, whatever's left is your reading that you should have. And then it gives you a chart on what should be left. So bear with me while I get this set up and ready for you. One scoop, solution A. 
more of a looks like purple sugar or salt, but you know, I never know. Uh, 10 drops of solution B. Now, with this, I always notice right when I first dump it, I get one drop at least. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The bottle is quite hard to squeeze. I'm always concerned I'm going to squeeze out a little too much. And we'll go with the pipette, get solution three. Fill that all the way up to one milliliter. And again, you're not getting the actual solution to one milliliter. You're getting the end of the plunger to the one milliliter mark. That's what it looks like unmixed. <coughs> Excuse me. Mix it up. You're a nice pink solution. Again, we're going to start here. And where I want to be, I already kind of know, it's quite far down in the range. So I'm just going to kind of go for it. I always start off first with just a few drops to make sure I'm not really far off on my uh, calcium or any test really. Kind of keep going drop by drop, but like I said, I'm going to go fairly far down because I know exactly where I'm going to be at. My last reading I was at 410, so that would have been 0.18. Right now I'm at uh, 0.3, so I got a little bit left to go and I keep going drop by drop to make sure my tank hasn't consumed too much and you can kind of see it change into a light purple but it should go to a pretty substantial uh, blue color here for us oh, we got that change to that blue so you went from pink to blue. Let's see where we're at. We actually dropped a little bit more. Uh, we're at 0.16. So that on the scale <coughs> is uh, 420 uh, for the PPM, which is good. It's kind of in line where we need to be. So I'm happy with it. And we're going to start dosing uh, accordingly from there okay guys if you have any questions please let me know uh, that's kind of my testing regiment that we got going on so hopefully you uh, like what you see if you have any questions let me know I do like I said I do the Salifert uh, calcium and alkalinity I do a uh, Hanna checker phosphate uh, I really like that um, other than that, I kind of keep it simple and easy for you. Thanks. <laughs> Have a good night.